Hi, my name is Jacob Baykowski and I'm an applications engineer here with Go Engineer. Today we are going to look at the thread feature. Here we have a bottle that I'm designing uh, and I'm going to use the thread feature to place bottle threads on it. To access this command, select the drop down under Hole Wizard and there's the thread feature. However, I have a custom thread I'd like to add to the library for this design. To find the location with the, in which the system calls out thread profiles, I'm going to select Options, File Locations, and select the Edit All button in order me, for me to copy the location for thread profiles. If I paste this in my File Explorer, we can see the existing thread profiles of which you'll notice are saved as library feature parts. Here I have a sketch profile for the custom thread I'd like to use in my model. Adding it to the thread feature design library is a one-time operation that allows me to use it from now on in other designs. This center line, vertical from the origin, dictates the pitch or the distance between threads, or 0.15 inches, as well as change the name, let's call it the pitch. Since this is a design library feature, I need to add this to the design li library location where the threads are located. I'm going to left click and select the sketch since the sketch is what I want to turn into a design library feature. Select File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as a library feature part. But I'm also going to save it in the same location as my thread profiles. Once invoked, the command reminds us to inspect and modify the thread profiles to make sure that they meet our design requirements. The first thing it asks us is a starting location for the thread. I'm going to select the bottom edge of this chamfer. I'm going to select the offset of which I'm going to make it equal to one thread pitch for bottles so that the cap rests level to the mouth. As for where the helix is going to go, we can specify the end condition in this group box here. We can drive it up to geometry. We can drive it by going a certain height. Or we can also drive it by number of revolutions. In this case, I'm going to choose one and a half revolutions. It would be a good idea to identify the thread I would like to use at this point. I can do this under the type drop down. Default with the software there are inch and metric die and taps as well as bottle profiles as well. If I had chosen to use configuration to drive different sizes, they, those sizes would be available on the drop down here. In this case I'm going to use my custom thread and it's going to reflect the default configuration. I noticed by looking at the preview that right away instead of using cut threads I'd rather use extruded threads for the outside of this bottle and I'm also going to mirror the profile as the profile of this is on the wrong side. So I'll say mirror profile and mirror horizontally. There are overrides here. The diameter is being driven by the edge that we chose in the beginning. But I can come in here and change that size if I wanted to. Same thing with the pitch. Here I have 0.15 which is what I typed in as my centerline dimension. And I'm going to reflect that same pitch over here in the offset distance. If you scroll down on this property manager, you'll also see a few other thread options. I would like a right hand thread because I'd like the cat to tighten as I turn to the right, but I could decide to do a left handed thread start as well with the option. There's also the button to have multiple threads start at one time, and you can also trim with the starter and face. One thing you'll notice right away about the thread feature is it does not contain any run out. But stay tuned because in the next video I will demonstrate one possible way to create the runout off of these threads.